Good morning. My name is Farid Abdelnour. I'm the chair of the political science department. And it is my great pleasure to welcome you to the political science graduation celebration for the classes of 2020 and 2021. Please join me in making some virtual noise and celebratory signs to congratulate and acknowledge the achievement of every one of our amazing graduates. This is always a bitter sweet moment. On the one hand, your graduation is the marker of your achievement, the culmination of all your years of hard work, and we relish sharing it with you. It is also bitter because we will miss you. I know it may be hard for you to believe that in this large university of 35,000 students, you would be missed but you will be. Over the years that you have spent in our classes and in our program, we have come to know you, appreciate and value your unique personality, the types of questions you tend to ask and comments you tend to make, the issues that concern you. We may even miss some of your worried emails or the quiet way in which you observe and absorb what is going on around you. The last 14 months may leave you with the sense that you are graduating without getting to know your professors and other students. No doubt, we all missed out on a lot of in-person interaction and engagement, but we still got to know one another in a new setting. We shared a common experience of vulnerability that has helped us grow and mature together we have needed to rely on one another's grace. We've had to learn to trust one another more, to give one another more of a break. Many of us will for a long time remember the grace you granted us as we fumbled our way to figure out how to teach you virtually. You were kind and understanding. Thank you. I wrote myself a note to say something wise at this point. But what can I possibly say beyond what we have put our hearts into teaching you over the years that you have spent with us? All the wisdom we possess is condensed in our courses. Every syllabus is the culmination of months, years, in some cases, decades of thought and refinement. We have already imparted to you what wisdom we have. Take it and use it. So my little words of wisdom are, do not stop thinking, do not stop seeking new ideas, and also keep going back to refresh and deepen your understanding of old ideas. After you leave us to chart your path, do not get intellectually lazy. Challenge yourself, let others challenge you and challenge your world. You, our students, soon to be our alums, have inspired us, impressed us, engaged and challenged us. You've been a source of joy, but the most palpable feeling we have towards you today is one that we share with your families and loved ones. It is a brimming feeling of pride. We feel proud of you because we are connected to you. There is a special bond we share with you and all our graduates who came before you and the ones who will follow. You are, and you will always be part of this large community. Remember this, you always have a community here. In this morning's program, we will present the undergraduate awards, then the graduate awards, we will then display on the screen the names of all political science graduates of 2020 and 2021. At the end, some faculty members will be in breakout rooms to welcome you if you'd like to stop by and say hello.
Before proceeding with the undergraduate awards for the class of 2021, I'd like to acknowledge the 2020 undergraduate award recipients. These are Abdullah Haqqi, Zachary Brewster, Ariana Garcia, Abigail Ernst, Cyrus Pelikai, Aidan Winter, and Talon Hannes. Now to the undergraduate award recipients for the class of 2021. First is the Outstanding Graduating Senior Award. Jacob Wright's professors describe him as thoughtful, respectful, and articulate. A student who was considered a leader among his group members. They describe him as, as an exceedingly dedicated and mature student, a student with a desire to learn and think. And here we have an anonymous comment, somebody who wrote, he was the highlight of our British parliamentary simulation. A student who impresses with both the quality of his writing and his incisive analysis. Jacob has left lasting impressions, not only on his professors, but also his classmates, who've described him as always prepared and as someone who brings up ideas they hadn't thought of before. On behalf of the faculty of the Department of Political Science, it is my honor to present the 2021 Political Science Outstanding Graduating Senior Award to Jacob Wright. Fellow graduates, I'm honored to speak with you on this very important day, because today we finished something. And sometimes I think it's ironic that in each endeavor of our academic lives, we learn, grow, and achieve the highest level possible in that institution, and then we graduate. Then the next year, we're thrown back to being the lowest rung on the totem pole when we start our next adventure, wherever and whatever it may be. However, it doesn't matter how far we might rise or fall on that totem pole. We all stumble. It's the nature of life, because if we do what we constantly do, raising the bar, if we keep pushing ourselves to become faster, stronger, higher, we're at some point going to encounter setbacks. At least I have. Regardless, this is what I tell myself. Setbacks require reflection. So do your thing. Do it every day. Do it unapologetically. Don't be discouraged by the criticism. You probably already know what they're going to say. Pay no mind to the fear of failure. It's far more valuable than success. So take ownership. Take chances and have fun. No matter what, don't ever stop doing your thing. Thank you. Jacob has selected Professor Kim Twist to receive the award for the most influential faculty member in his career. I would say that a professor that leads us to leave the class thinking in a different way than when we came in would be influential. Dr. Twist not only meets, but she exceeds these standards. This is why I would like to thank her for all that she has done for me, and I'm sure for plenty of other students here at San Diego State University. Dr. Twist never treated students like they didn't know anything. She always saw people for who they were. She listened to their opinions and saw the people as individuals. And in particular, she saw me for who I was. Because of her dedication to teaching, Dr. Twist reminded me of why I have a passion for political science. And for that, I am truly grateful, which is why today it is a great pleasure for me to introduce the most influential faculty member in the political science department, Dr. Kimberly Twist. Professor Kim Twist is not only the recipient of the most influential uh, faculty member in the career of Jacob Wright, she is also the undergraduate advisor and will now present the undergraduate awards for the class of 2021. Thank you. Uh, first, thank you, Jacob. It is a tremendous honor. And I know I speak on behalf of all of your professors when I say we're so proud of you and we're so excited to see what you do next. 
We have so many terrific undergraduate students, both in 2020 and in 2021. And as their advisor, I'm very happy to now present the recipients of the 2020-2021 Political Science Undergraduate Awards. First, the Elijah Miles Award for Best Student in American Politics and Public Policy. This award is named for Professor Miles, who passed away in the summer of 2020. Professor Miles was a member of this department for 32 years from 1966, when he was the only black professor in the entire university until his retirement in 1998. Professor Miles was a tireless advocate for civil rights. We recognize his contribution to this, to this department by giving an award in his name to a graduate with an exemplary record of academic excellence in American politics and public policy. This year's recipient is Paige Bounds. Paige's professors noted her excellent work and thoughtful contributions in a wide variety of American politics courses. I'm very happy to now present this award to Paige. I am so honored to receive the Elijah Wally Miles Award for the best student in American politics and public policy. Thank you to the political science department for considering me and a huge thank you to all of my incredible poli sci professors these past four years. I also want to express my gratitude for my parents who were always willing to answer my late night phone calls to proofread my papers and for teaching me the importance of civic involvement from a young age. Finally, I wanna thank the staff at former Mayor Kevin Faulkner's office, the contact tracing team at the County of San Diego and my current colleagues at County Supervisor Joel Anderson's office for bringing my classroom lessons of American politics to life through internships and job opportunities. I look forward to a career in public service at Supervisor Anderson's office upon graduation. Go Aztecs! This year's recipient of the Best Student in Comparative and Global Politics Award is Taylor Reed. Taylor's professors have noted her passion for research and her participation already in a UK Fulbright program. I'm very happy to now present this award to Taylor. Thank you so much, Professor Twist. It's an honor to be recognized by the political science department as the best student in comparative and global politics. Thank you to all the faculty I've had the privilege of learning from in this department as your support and classrooms environment has helped cultivate my passion for comparative politics. A huge thank you to Professor Twist whose constant support and classes on British and European politics provided me with the opportunity to comparatively study and engage in fascinating di discussions regarding our shared interest in United Kingdom politics. Overall, my experience and time studying political science at San Diego State University was invaluable, and I'll take all the knowledge I've gained to my next academic journey as I pursue my master's in public administration at American University in Washington, D.C. this fall. I'm so incredibly grateful to have had the opportunity to study among my fellow graduates in this thought-provoking department. Congratulations to all the other graduates today. You all have such bright futures ahead of you. Lastly, thank you to my friends and family who have always empowered and supported my ambitions. I'm here today because of all of you. The James Kniff Award for Best Student in Political Theory is named for Professor Kniff, who was a member of this department for 35 years, from 1968 through 2003. He exemplified the teacher scholar who was dedicated to his students and remained an engaged scholar throughout his career. We recognize his contribution to this department by giving an award in his name to a graduate with an exemplary record of academic excellence in political theory. This year's recipient is Melody Benjamin. Melody's professors noted her impressive work and her particular passion for political thought. And I'm happy to now present this award to Melody. Hi, so first I would like to say that I am honored and a little surprised um, to be honored for this award and I am very touched. So thank you to the faculty of SDSU as well as the family of James Conniff for which this award is named. Uh, you know, I'm the kind of person that asks a lot of questions. I always want to know the hows, whats, the whys, and really get below the present surface of all kinds of things and political theory is a subject that's regarded very highly for, by me for um, allowing you and inviting you to find those more complete answers. And I want to thank Professor Abdel Noor, Professor Saccarelli for being patient with all my questions and for introducing me to this subject that I am so passionate about and guiding me along the way. And 
the faculty of SDSU is wonderful and I look forward to thanking everyone else and learning more from them in the fall of the master's program. Uh, and thank you very much for this honor and congratulations to the other graduates. Thank you. The Ned Joy Award for Excellence in Social Justice, Citizenship and Political Leadership is named for Professor Joy, who was a member of this department for 29 years from 1953 to 1982. He encouraged his students to pursue social justice through active involvement in politics and in civic life. We recognize his contribution to this department by giving an award in his name to a graduate with an exemplary record of academic excellence, as well as a strong commitment to social justice, active citizenship, and political leadership. This year's recipient is Nona Saber. Nona's professors noted her volunteer work with a variety of campaigns and human rights organizations and her excellent writing and analysis of policies, including asylum policies. I'm now happy to present this award to Nona. Hello and good morning to all. My name is Nona Saber and I am proud to accept the Ned Joy Award. I am eternally grateful for this award. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to say a few words about my time at SDSU and my future plans. These past few years have been incredible, memorable, and have helped me to shape my goals. Next year, I will be attending University College London to pursue my master's. If you would have told me just three short years ago that I would be graduating virtually and moving to London next year, I definitely would not have believed it. This would not have been possible without a few key figures in my life I would like to thank. To my entire family, my friends, and especially my parents, thank you for being the best support system I could have asked for. To all my professors and the faculty at the Political Science Department, thank you for motivating and inspiring me to follow my dreams. This year would not have gone so smoothly if it had not been for your hard work, patience, and flexibility. My time at SDSU has been so special and I will cherish it forever. This year's recipient of the Best Student in Public Law Award is Thomas Sepulveda. Thomas's professors noted his wealth of knowledge about public law and said he will make a great addition to the legal community. I'm happy to now present this award to Thomas. Good, good morning. I'd like to thank the Political Science Department for this tremendous recognition. I'd also like to extend a special congratulations to all my fellow graduates who have persevered through quite a difficult year, yet done so with honor and distinction in their studies. I'd like to thank Dr. Kimberly Fletcher Dr. Li Guang, Dr. Mikhail Alexiev, Dr. Kristin Maher, Dr. Benjamin Gonzalez O'Brien, and Dr. Yvonne Gastelum, as well as Professor James Murren. I'd also like to thank some of the people behind the scenes, folks such as Brianna Wiley, Michelle Linaway, and others. Each and every one of you has played an important role in my educational journey and has a part in this achievement as well, and I thank you sincerely for that. I'd like to wish all my fellow graduates all the success in the world and may God continue to bless each and every one of you. Thank you. Now I'd like to introduce my colleague, Professor Kristen Maher. Professor Maher is the Graduate Advisor for Political Science and will present the Graduate Student Awards. Welcome graduates, friends and family. As we get ready to recognize students graduating with a master's degree in political science, could the MA graduates please uh, use the raise hand function so you can come up front in Zoom for people who are in gallery view. I promise I won't call on you. We have an academically challenging high caliber MA program and our graduates have all cleared some high hurdles to be here today. The MA program at San Diego State University asks students not just to read shelves full of books and fill reams of paper with their writing. In addition, it teaches them how to become analysts, how to conduct independent research. Say you wanted to find out the best way to get countries to cooperate on addressing climate change or understand why we are seeing so many populist movements across the world or why housing in California has become so wildly expensive. If our MAs do not already know the answers to these questions, um, they certainly know how, they know how to assemble best available knowledge on a subject and how to conduct the necessary research to fill in the gaps. All of them have worked very hard and become highly skilled. Please join me for a moment in applauding the effort and successes of all the MA students here to celebrate their graduation. You can post congratulatory chats if you like. 
And now let's shift to recognizing some uh, individual students um, uh, receiving graduate awards. Every year, the political science faculty nominates graduating students who have shown particular areas of excellence. Because we had no graduation celebration last year, we've invited last year's graduates and awardees here today also. And I'll start with them. First, I'd like to recognize Madison Cowson, who was selected as the outstanding graduate student in 2020. Madison stood out for excellence in every aspect of her graduate career. Her professors describe her as prepared and engaged in class. She carried out a clever research plan for her thesis, evaluating whether it really is better for families in low-income neighborhoods to move to places where they would supposedly have more opportunity. The answer, not always. In this thesis, in class, as a TA and as a research assistant, her work always reflected nuanced understandings, a firm grasp on the big picture, and a clear moral vision. Madison, we're grateful for all you've brought to our department. Congratulations on this award. I think somebody needs Thank to- Thank you very much, me. Professor. Um, hi. Thank you so much to the faculty who nominated me as an outstanding student. I'm extremely honored to receive this from a group of academics to whom I look up to and have learned so much from. Returning to graduate school for a master's degree and choosing San Diego State's political science department was one of the best decisions that I've ever made. I gained knowledge from this program that has significantly bettered me as a person. Um, as graduate students, our professors pushed us and through lively class seminars, we challenged one another. I had the privilege of serving as a TA for three semesters and learned that if there is anything harder than writing a college level essay, it is grading 30 of them. I was also fortunate enough to work with um, as a research assistant to Professor Maher over a, uh, for over a year and learned more from her incredible research that I could have possibly imagined. The most important and valuable part of all of this has been getting to know and befriending an incredible group of intelligent people um, I've learned so much from both my professors and my classmates and will have uh, and have made friends that I will keep for the rest of my life. Um, both the class of 2020 and 2021 were very rudely interrupted by a global pandemic, but clearly we all pushed through and made it here and could not have done that without one another. So thank you. All. Thanks, Madison. Next, I'd like to recognize Farzin Sharp with an award for outstanding thesis. Farzine's thesis focused on Iranian women's activism against state mandates to wear a hijab. His analysis connected literatures on women and politics with those on LGBTQ rights, and his chair describes his research as impressive. In addition, his committee and others in the department found him to be a pleasure to work with, someone who worked hard, always eager to learn all he could. They described him as a promising candidate for a PhD, and he just completed his first year toward a PhD at UC Irvine. Congratulations, Parzin, on your excellent work and this award. Um, thank you, Professor Maher, for your kind words and the department for your recognition. Um, I also want to send a special thanks to Professor O'Brien for her constant help and support. I would not be where I am today, personally, academically, in every aspect without her help and also, I'm not sure if Professor Schreiber is here. Um, thank you so much for your help as well. Um, I brag about Professor Schreiber um, to all the, uh, all the people familiar with literature on women and um, right-wing movements. So um, yeah, thank you all. Thank you, Farzine. Um, next, we're recognizing Joel Mitchell with an award for outstanding use of methodology. Joel's professors note that he has shown great interest in learning research methods, not just how to do something, but also the reasons why. His thesis analyzed a survey he designed and fielded regarding gun control, an ambitious project grounded in substantial collection of original data. Although we are recognizing his methodology, his professors also commented on his overall excellence in class and his devotion and skill as a TA. Joel, thanks for all your contributions and congratulations on this award. Our Sorry, I last don't be present for this momentous occasion in our lives. Uh, as a recipient for this award, I'd like to thank all the professors that mentored and guided me through this program. I would like to specifically thank Dr. King for his methodology class and his insistence of keeping the science in political science. 
I would also like to thank my thesis advisors, Dr. Twist and Dr. Goggin, who put up with way more of my ramblings than they probably should have. Thank you again, and have a great rest of the day. Great. Our next award, and the last one for 2020, goes to Tuche Barol for Outstanding Service. Lots of professors had wonderful things to say about Tuche, from her professionalism, political engagement, and academic excellence, to her outstanding work as a TA, research assistant, and grader. However, a key theme to many of the comments had to do with her remarkable record of gener generosity to her peers and professors. Other students looked to her for leadership, and she stepped up whenever there was a need. That is true for faculty, too, who noted that she volunteered to do things like give lectures in their absence. She did careful, timely work helping to edit a book manuscript for some professors. And Tuche, I just want to say you're destined for great things, but in the meantime, thank you for being such an amazing departmental citizen for your hard work and all your contributions. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm so excited. Um, it's good to finally be at the graduation. <laughs> and um, San Diego State University is such a unique place uh, among other schools, and I'm happy to be part of it. It was a terrific, um, unbelievable two years. Looking back, I have realized how privileged uh, I was to share a classroom with uh, first class professors and first class students, my cohorts. And entire political science department is exceptional in SDSU, but I owe special thanks uh, to first Professor Maher. Uh, Professor Maher, you're an extraordinary role model for me. And uh, Professor Grobart, uh, during the quarantine and March and April, uh, I was uh, writing my thesis. Without him, I couldn't uh, complete my thesis and also my committee. Uh, thanks for everything. Uh, I, I, it's, it's an honor. Thank you very much. Thanks, Juche. Let's now shift to the current year's cohort, the graduates of 2021. The Outstanding Graduate Student Award this year goes to Nick Gallagher. Nick's had nothing but wonderful things to say. One nomination noted, quote, Nick was really a great presence in all the seminars, showing a consistent intellectual curiosity, a willingness to engage with complex materials, and also a deep passion about the problems of the present. Multiple others noted that he had given presentations in class that showed tremendous mastery of the material. At the same time, they observed how Nick is appreciated among his peers for his good humor, openness, respect, and generosity with feedback. He was also a skilled and devoted TA. Nick, congratulations on this award and thanks for all the ways you've contributed to our intellectual community. All right, thank you very much. I uh, feel very honored and proud to receive this. Uh, I wanna thank my parents for pushing me to take education seriously um, and always give my best at it. Uh, I wanna thank Professor V for uh, being extremely supportive uh, of me throughout my education and kind of becoming like a third parent for me. Uh, I want to thank Professor Greb for getting me down this path with studying international politics and all that. Uh, Professor Maher has been immensely supportive for, of me as well for the past couple of years. Um, and then other professors have always been great. Um, you know, uh, don't want to forget anybody, but uh, I mean, Grobart, Kuru, Carruthers, Saccarelli, everyone's been very supportive. And I just want to thank uh, all my classmates. Um, been been very supportive of each other. It's been a great community. Um, so, you know, Brianna, Jesse, Heron, Abel, Val, Ariana, Courtney, David, uh, hope I'm, Ryan, hope I'm not missing anybody. Um, just thanks everyone for, uh, you know, making this a great time and, uh, you know, being a, a great community. Thank you. Thank you, Nick. Um, this year's award for outstanding thesis goes to Ariana Safai. Ariana's thesis analyzed the growing phenomenon of online sex work, which the platform OnlyFans sets up in a gig of economy format, similar in some ways to Uber. <clears throat> Ariana framed this phenomenon as a labor issue, evaluating how this platform of online sex work is abused and under 
topic is cutting edge for political science, as well as very timely, given that many people laid off during the pandemic have turned to this platform as a way to make a living. Her committee commented not only on the high quality of her interviews and research, but also on her remarkable work ethic and her spirit of collaboration. Congratulations, Ariana. Hi, um, I just want to say thank you so much, first and foremost, to my committee. Um, Professor Maher, especially as my first reader, has seen me, I want to say, two to three times a week for the past uh, semester, because we are also working on research together. Um, thank you for making me realize research is something I'm actually interested in doing. Um, and I also have to thank my other committee members, Professor Schreiber and Professor Clune Taylor from Women's Studies. Uh, both of you have also just been so excellent in helping guide this really uh, big project and making it actually manageable. Um, I also have to thank Dr. V. Uh, my first two weeks in the program, I was so nervous and I went to her office and I told her, I think I might be the stupidest person in the program. And she looked at me and she was like, and it's not you, I promise. And from then, she really was able to um, help me build confidence in my academic career. And speaking of, I also have to thank, lastly, Dr. Saccarelli. Um, even though I only got to take one class with him, he was super helpful, especially in the beginning phases of my thesis. Despite not even being in my committee, he helped me a lot with literature. So I'm so grateful for that. And I know I said lastly, but also thank you to my cohort, my friends, my family who have all listened to me talk about OnlyFans for about a year now. And last but not least, I'd like to thank all of the sex workers I was able to interview for my thesis. Without their openness and kindness, um, I don't think it would be half as good as it is. As it is. So thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. Uh, uh, we have a final award from this year. Um, I want to explain it just briefly. Um, our MA students have two options for a culminating experience. One is the thesis, but the other is a set of comprehensive exams. And we have an award winner in that category this year. We'd like to recognize Ryan Reynolds for outstanding comprehensive exams. Ryan is the first student in a long while to pass both of his exam fields with distinction. One of his committee members said it's been 15 years since she's had any student earn that honor. The professor evaluating his second field called his work fantastic with more than 50 high quality pages of writing. Both also praised his work in their courses, noting that Ryan often went far beyond what was assigned. They also praised his zeal for finding a way forward in society. Ryan, congratulations on excellent work. Ryan, I don't know if you care to say a few words or if, if uh, you don't need to. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, great. Uh, I just want to say thank you to my parents, first and foremost, for making this possible and uh, supporting me through this journey. It's been six years straight at SCSU now, which is a long time to support someone through college. Uh, I'd like to thank my grandfather for giving me my initial interest in politics. And uh, I'd also like to thank all the faculty members I've gotten to know over the last six years. In particular, uh, Dr. Ingram, who I've TA'd for several times, was very influential in my academic growth. And uh, most importantly, I'd like to thank Dr. V and Saccarelli for being such important parts of my growth as an intellectual and as an academic. I would not be anywhere near where I am today academically without them. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Ryan.
Hi everyone, it's Professor Goggin. I just wanted to record a brief message to say congratulations right, to everyone graduating, not just the class of 2021, but everyone who's graduated and hasn't been able to celebrate it until now. It was great to get to know so many of you in classes over the past several years, um, and I wish you all the best in whatever you do in the future. I wanted to extend my congratulations to everybody in the class of 2021, uh, not only for graduating, but for making it through one of the um, most bizarre and I know difficult, especially um, for all of you, uh, years that I've uh, seen as an educator. So congratulations. I hope you have a wonderful summer and I wish you the best in the future. Congratulations, classes of 2020 and 2021. We're very proud of you. All the best. Hey everyone, it's Professor Twist, and I am so excited to be celebrating with the classes of 2020 and 2021. It has been such a pleasure to get to know so many of you over the past few years, both in the classroom and more recently through being the undergrad advisor, and I wish all of you best of luck in whatever comes next. When I was a younger man and worked for the circus in Hibbing, Minnesota, this was the common saying that I think is quite relevant to um, graduating students and their parents come mothers and fathers throughout the land and don't criticize what you can't understand. Your sons and your daughters are beyond your command. Your old road is rapidly fading. Please get out of the new one if you can't lend your hand for the times they are a changing. Hi, this is James Samstad wishing the best of luck to all the political science graduates in the class of 2021. You've survived a tough year, but I'm sure you'll have a great future ahead. Congratulations. Hi, this is Ahmed Kuru. I would like to congratulate all our graduates from the Department of Political Science and ISCOR for their achievements in this particularly challenging year affected by COVID-19. Congratulations, and I wish you the best in your future career and new adventures in your life. Hello students, congratulations on graduating. As you move forward, I wish you the best. I hope that you work toward the common good, the public good, speak up, dialogue with others, and listen. Continue educating yourself throughout life. This is only part of your journey. Cultivate your mind, body, and spirit. Get out into nature. Unplug, maybe turn off social media and noise. Turn to science and reputable journalism for facts. Be the change you wish to see in the world, as Gandhi said. Don't give up. You are an important piece of the puzzle toward creating positive change and peace in this world. Congrats. To our wonderful graduates of the classes of 2020 and 2021, congratulations. Please stay in touch. Let us know how you're doing. Now, if you'd like to stop by and say hello to some of your professors, they'll be delighted to welcome you in their breakout rooms. It'll probably take a few seconds to arrange those. Thank you all for attending. All the best.